Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to K-Wings Let's Plays and more of the Avengers Kate Bishop DLC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Katie arrives. And special shout-outs to all our members, including our Ultimates. If you guys want to hop aboard the membership train, all you have to do is click right here, select the tier that works best for you. So, we're here inside of the new shield base, and uh, of course we had that little archery pep talk with Cap. And now we're going to go continue more of the story. Whichever way that is. Probably this way. But first, I want to see if we can actually upgrade some of our stuff. Because it's kind of necessary. Cool. Alright, so... What do we have here? It looks like her vest. Yeah, that's her vest. Can we buy that? No. Can we buy this? No. You're, awesome. You have 161 out of 228 points. Mm, not good. You failed us for the last time, Kate. What is this thing? ATM? Could really use an Avenger on this one, you know. Yeah. These are the daily missions. Roger that, yeah. Oh, cool. Maybe that's stuff I could do. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, you could do daily missions if you wanted to. I mean, but I mean, thank God the get? Gotham Knights game is not going to be like this. It's going to be in open world. When um, Arkham style game and not using this whole looter brawler thing that the Avengers failed to uh, really, you know. Mm. There hasn't really been that many games that have an 86% drop off of their fan base within like less than a month. But the game looks so pretty. I know, but it just gets so boring. That's so the problem with it. You this would have been better if it was like an open world thing. Mm-hmm. That's what people wanted. And the ability to switch Avengers, like, to play. It, like, between them. Yep. And your team. I have no idea what that is. Don't care about that. Where's the other Maybe shop they guy? could create an open world right now. Mm. And then, like, have it as DLC. No, there's, <laughs> they've already changed how their, uh, their game is. They can't do anything about it. Can I not do anything here? Wow, really? I feel sad about that. Wait, he has a t-shirt now. What's what's this shirt he's wearing? It's his merch. Roy! You look good, Roy. <laughs> right. This looks weird. Roy's fun. Alright, so Kate is taking the lead on this. Oh, there's Cap. You can talk to Cap. Hey, Cap. 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 If you ever have any doubts, remember... It doesn't matter what the newspapers say. We're fighting the good fight. What are we complaining about? Hey, Kamala. Oh, I wish we could take out the Quinjet for lunch to Jersey. I'm dying for an elite meat sandwich. Mmm. Elite meat. Why are you making us hungry, Kamala? Now we all want to go to Jersey for a sandwich. Can we talk to Maria? Maria Hill? Elite meat sandwich. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of that sandwich place we went to in New York City. That was like by that park that whenever we would go visit like that one event for gaming, we would always go across the street. Go to that sandwich place. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so her next mission is going to be... Thanks a lot, Kamala. Now we all want a sandwich. I kind of do. I'm going to go down the street to a deli. Don't you wish we lived down the street from a deli, Luke? Not right now. Really? Why not? What do you mean, why not? What do you mean? What are you, I don't understand. What are you talking we could go about? get a sandwich. No. You wouldn't just go down and get a sandwich? Wait. We have to do the snowy tundra again? Really? I thought we completed that. All right, Luke. Be straight with me. If I drove halfway across town to go get a $5 sushi at the grocery store, do you think that would be unsafe? Yes. Considering you've already gone to the doctor and you've gone out. Yo, Dr. Oh. Pim, I hear you've got news about our tachyon situation? Yep, the good kind. Thanks to your efforts, I've succeeded in locating the origin of the tachyon storms. These pockets of unstable time are all emanating from one central point. Ooh, somewhere nice, I hope. Spain, Italy, <gasps> Wakanda. Not quite. We traced the disruptions to an AIM black site near a hydro dam in Siberia. Oh, mysterious. I like it. So if we shut down this facility, does that mean we'll stop all these time disruptions from happening? Tachyons are highly unstable. Let's see what we're dealing with first. All right. Recon it is. You, uh, 
Sure you want me leading this, Cap? You know more about this situation than anyone. I trust you. And if you're ever not sure what to do, just listen to your instincts. They've served you well. That... means a lot. Thanks, Cap. Let's do this. Except for your fashion instincts. Pants with a skirt, yes. We know. Except it's not a skirt. It's a weird tailcoat shirt. I blame Kamala for making us both hungry. Mm. After she mentioned the sandwich, both of our tummies were crumbling. Yeah. <laughs> but However, no. I was yeah. saying we went to the doctor, so you have to, the Rona clock starts over. Dam. Okay. You have a plan, Kate? I just figured we'd wing it. What? I'm joking, dude. I have a little faith. Okay. We take out the comm tower first, then sneak in and inspect their safety violations. Oh, Thor's with us. Cool. However, I do admire Kamala's like taste in sandwiches. Wow. That sounds delicious. Whatever she was sky. talking about. Mm -hmm. That can't be good. The tachyon disruptions are affecting the atmosphere. Okay, so uh, what am I looking at? Past and future sky? More like radiation trails. Oh, good. I feel much better about going outside now. Wait, we're in the middle of radiation? Yep. Is this safe? No, probably not. Should we get a hazmat suit on? Okay, where to first? There's a communications array nearby. If we can disable it, we'll have a short window where Aim will be blind and unable to call for backup. Okay, good to know. Billboard! Oh, okay, so if you're in the middle of radiation, you should put on a sweater. Maybe it will help save you. Whoa! Probably that? won't though. The Even closer you get to the origin point, the stronger the disruptions oh. get. They're radiating out of that place like waves. Listen, be careful down there. Tachyon exposure isn't usually lethal, but I've never encountered levels like this. Wait, not usually lethal? You're not helping, man. There's the communications array. We got those guards called for backup. We're toast. I can jam the signal long enough for you to destroy the array. Just be quick. You got it, Doc. I like the teleporting. Yep, yeah, it's cool. Luke, what does this game remind you of now? Waves of purple radiation coming towards you. Uh, I'm too tired to think on it. I was thinking Fortnite. Oh. Mm. I wouldn't have even thought that. Oh. I will say this about the DLC, though. Um, and I know there are going to be people that disagree with me, but... I like Kate Bishop's story better than the Avengers game. It gets well, to the point... It's fun and snarky and very superhero-y, and it feels like it's leading up to something pretty epic. I know. Whereas the Avengers game, the story felt like it took too long. It just kept building and building and building and building and building. And, you know, eh. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. It's like, it. It's just, it's just fun. This feels like, you know... You get all the Avengers right away, you're doing Avengers stuff. I still say this game would be better if you could actually play as the Avengers on your team and switch between yeah. their strengths and, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like the other Avengers story was like, always leading up to something, but to what? We don't know. It never quite happened. It was like, not a very huge climax at the end, like, okay. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Ooh. Hmm. But yeah. And on, honestly, Kate is very likable. Like, I don't have anything wrong with her. Because here's the thing. If this is a, a beat-em-up game, um, there are games that are beat-em-up that allow you to switch. Yes. To make things more interesting. I, that's, I mean, I wish that they would, maybe they could patch it and make that one no. change. There, there's no way they could it do it. It would make a world of difference because then you could play as Thor for a little while, switch to Kate. Yep. When you get, because this game is very monotonous and boring. So, I mean, when you give the player the options, like, yeah, I pick Kate at the start, but I also have like three other teammates. There's Captain yeah. America here, there's Kamala, there's Thor. I could change it up, but no. I mean, if it's like an RPG, like then it you is would, supposed to be, you like would be able to switch between characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my only major gripe with this game, and you know the uh, kind of pay to win type thing. But the Kate DLC, uh, you know, I feel that 
Yeah, it might be a little bit on the short side, but you have the character unlockable and you can go through and play everything except for the actual story campaign with Kate, probably. Mm. One thing I wasn't around. Yeah, one thing I like about the game in general, mm. though, is all the characters are very likable. Like, I don't have a problem with any of the characters. Yeah, I know. Like, they're all, like, the best versions of themselves in the Avengers, like... So I really like that. Like... Like, even the characters that I don't know very well, it's like I actually like them a lot. They're very, like, selfless and... Um, you know, they're always trying... They're trying to do the right thing and help each other. I really like that. Yep. I feel like they gave them all really kind and, like, very heroic personalities. I like her Nightcrawler powers quite a bit. Whoops. Whoop. Okay. Help me out, guys. But the main people that worked on this... Oh. Mm hmm. The main people... Team's aim security is already on high alert. What? I thought we had the drop on them. Uh... We do. They don't know you're here. Something else must have tripped their sensors. I'm spotting several AIM patrols up ahead. They're blocking your path to the facility. Not for long. Not for long. I was just gonna say, 90% of the staff that works for Square then working on this game would be working out of Japan then, right? Or... Mm. No? So I was gonna say, if this was... I mean, this is surprising, like, kind personalities for... Like an American thing, because usually when people make it in America, they make people really mean. Like it feels like they have more Japanese personalities. They don't usually scream high alert so easily. Maybe we're not the only ones interested in their tachyon project. Hmm, how do we get inside? There's usually like something I need to shoot, like arrows. I mean honestly, if a lot of people in America did work on this, it gives me hope because I'd like to see more comic books with these kind of personalities for the heroes. Mm hmm I think you're gonna like the Gotham Knights game, but like, I, uh, so. I don't think it's gonna be as cheery as the- Well, this game wasn't really cheery until later. Like, the DLC, this takes place after the event. You know, what happened to Cap and some of the pretty twisted stuff. Yeah. But it's, it's done just right. It's, you know, really well done. I don't know how to get in there. I was trying to see, like, if there was something I needed to shoot to get in there. I don't know uh, why, but I was just thinking the fact that Captain America is always the one that... They seem distracted. He takes... He takes responsibility for his whole team, so instead of everybody else... He's the leader. Instead of everyone else apologizing to Kate, like, Captain America took it on himself to apologize. Even though it wasn't his fault, he took responsibility for it. I was like, wow, that guy is pretty awesome. Yeah, he's a leader, exactly. He also didn't really have a failsafe in case something happened to him, because let's face it, Captain America, he probably assumed he was going to be around quite a while because, I mean, he ages slow and mm -hmm. um, he's in better physical and uh, condition yeah. than everybody else. Probably mental, too. Like oh, yeah. I mean, your brain is part of your body, so it's like, if your body is superhuman, so would your brain be. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was just thinking about it, like, that people that are, like, stronger personality or a stronger person has the ability to apologize for people that are are weaker in general, they don't apologize for things. They always blame other people. Yeah, and, and Cap didn't, I mean, he's not, you know... Uh, rolling over and being like, alright, now Kate is not only an Avenger, but she's the leader of the team. She's just, leading this away team. Yeah. Because she knows about what's going on. Yeah, he just did a simple, like, apology. Like It's like yeah. a field command thing. Yeah, exactly. He's just doing your... It's almost like he does everything by the book, almost. Holding steady. Very little change so far. That's good, right? Oh, in a sea of not good, it's good. Ish. But how do we know what happened to the other Hawkeye? I guess we'll find out. Like, does Kate know, or she hasn't seen him for a while? She hasn't seen him in five years. Wow. That's not good. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, probably five Maybe years. Maybe he's, like, captured by somebody or something. They said he's captured by AIM. Oh. Looks like Monica's got other problems tonight. Wow, Amber. They said that, like, <laughs> first episode. Oh, I was sitting here trying to figure out what could. Oh my gosh. 
sad there's no cure for blonde. I'm sorry! Also, we've recorded this all three episodes the same day, so that's just... And I'm, like, <laughs> less alert than you, and even I knew... Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know what to uh, do. I don't either. I can't yeet myself from the Earth. No. I could move to another planet where there are other blonde people. Good things there's different types of intelligence. Do I have one of them, then? I would hope so. <laughs> Maybe I have artistic intelligence. I like I, to draw I would say things. artistic intelligence, but in terms of processing and knowledge... But sometimes and, I remember things from, like, years ago, like, 20 years ago. No, that's just... Word for word. Girl obsession. Like, if only I was actually paying attention all, to All girls are able to remember everything freaky. Like, like conversations. conversations, especially with significant others. Guys really? don't. Nope. Oh, did I get something cool? Let's double check that. Let's go to our gear. Does Kamala have a new outfit? Or is it just me? Yeah, I, I got her, uh, uh... She was included in that. Like, Honestly, I feel like her new outfit looks great. Yeah, I like it. It's not as weird as uh, her final costume at the end of the game, which I, I don't like any of their final costumes, except for maybe Iron Man, Captain America. Black Widow looks really dumb. With her final costume. Honestly, it's like, Black Widow doesn't really need much for costumes because... Yeah, oh right, where they have the, like, the metal, like, lining on everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really think, like, Black Widow always looks awesome in black. Like, she doesn't really need to ever change her costume. Everybody else has, like, all these bells and whistles. Black Widow just has, like, a black cat suit on. She looks fantastic. Every time. What am I doing wrong? Like, there's no need. It's like... She's like Steve Jobs. She wears the same thing every day to save time. Is this supposed to look? Now I'm on fire. Nope. Not good. Not good. Don't be on fire. Wait. Come on, game. Where am I supposed to go? I'm not seeing a radar or anything. Wait. I just saw a radar. No. I just feel like every new character we meet. Uh, every new character we meet. In this game, yeah, somehow they get asked to be part of the Avengers. So I feel like if we had like 40 new DLC characters, they would all be part of the Avengers. Pretty probably soon. gonna have six in total. The Avengers would be so big. It's almost like people cannot. Do the Avengers ever ask for help, but not invite them to be a member of their team? Yeah. Oh, is it weird that I want to see somebody? that we ask for help and then they want to be part of the Avengers and we say no just because I want to see that happen. I want to see Wolverine in this game. <laughs> just as like a guest character or maybe awesome. the Fantastic Four or something. I'd like to see a bigger Marvel Universe. So for guest characters we know we're getting Kate, Hawkeye, Black Panther, Spider-Man. Although Spider-Man is only on the uh, PS4 so I'm guessing Black Panther will probably be only on Xbox or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, probably Vision will appear. Uh, maybe Wanda. Who knows? Wanda! Mm -hmm. Doctor Strange is a possibility, probably. No, probably not Doctor Strange. Aww. I would really like to see Wolverine, honestly. Yeah, Wolverine. Even though he's not technically an Avenger, but it's still cool. And he just worked with both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers, so. Alright, so you want me to do something over here. What do you want me to do over here? What exactly do you want me to do? Alright, people that I would want to see in this DLC, let's think. Well, like, all the X-Men. <laughs> I don't know. You can't have all of them. Okay. Um. What am I supposed to be doing here? Defeat the aim what? Defeat the aim patrol. Oh. Just, just scan the wreckage. Okay. He's on fire. Yeah. Hank Pym this is like. This guy was down recently. Sad. Looks like it was sent to intercept some escaped prisoners. Well, that explains the high alert. The facility is just over that ridge. All the tachyon readings originate from that location. That alert isn't going to make security any lighter. Maybe it's just me here. You know, scale the roof and drop down on a cable or something. 
You watch too many movies, but I like how you think. Whoa! That bunker's definitely responsible. Guess we better keep moving. That's yep, cute. The area looks tight. Getting inside won't be easy. Jarvis and I can handle the door from here, but you'll need to clear the area. You watch too many movies, but I like how you think. That was cute. See, this is cute dialogue. I like it. So they did a great job on the dialogue. Yeah, they did. It's a lot of robots. Oh, sorry. That and the voice crap. acting is fantastic. I also like the fact that the characters look young. Like, I'm used to seeing uh, the one guy who's older, like, play um, Iron Man. Um, Robert it, Downey Jr.? Yeah, that guy. And it's like... It's interesting to see a much younger Iron Man. Get ready to see an older Iron Man than, uh... What? Why would he be older? Tom what? Cruise. No, he's not. Yep. I don't believe it. Both no. DC and Marvel are doing a multiverse, so a new Captain America and, uh... Tom Cruise gonna show up. Mm -hmm. Guarantee it. But how is he gonna be tall enough to fit in the suit? <laughs> Ah, uh, maybe they'll give him pumps or something to wear. <laughs> but I don't know who they would get to play Captain America. Huh. Just get back the other actor who played Cap. Unless he doesn't want to do it. Thought he was a good Cap, mostly. Mm. I would I would cast the guy who played the old Flash as Captain America. Mm. His old Captain America. Yeah. I mean, he's a good actor, but... I, like... I cast Dean Kane as Captain America. <laughs> nah, too old. Okay. Too mm. old. All right, we need. I also, Captain America doesn't age as fast as everyone else, so yeah. he can't look as old as uh, Iron Man. <laughs> no. Uh. Tom Cruise never ages, so I mean. Yeah, Ow. that's true. Mm. Wait, what? What's going on here? All right, you know what? You fools are toast. So this makes me faster, I guess. Whoa! Whoa! What? What happened? Mission failed. Reloading checkpoint. Huh? <sighs> Jarvis, what happened? I don't know what you're supposed to do. I didn't help. I didn't help. The facility is just over that ridge. All the tachyon readings originate from that location. Where does it can make security any lighter? Ooh. Maybe we can sneak in. You know, scale the roof and drop down on the table or something. Well, security looks tight. Getting inside won't be easy. Jarvis and I can handle the door from here. But you'll need to clear the area. <gasps> they did different dialogue. Huh? Last time Kamala said we could drop down, then uh, Kate responded. Um, you watch too- that's- you watch too many movies, but I, I like how you think. She didn't say that this time. She just said, I think we need to do this and this to get in. She completely ignored Kamala. Mm. I think it's because we ran there faster. She skipped some dialogue. Maybe. So if you get there- if you go there slower, they give you more dialogue. Oh well. Mm. You know who would be a great older Captain America? Mm. The guy who played the most recent James Bond. Daniel Craig? Yes, I would uh, cast him as Captain America. Okay. I think he would be great. Okay, how did I die? Alright, so I think I can't stray from this thing. Yes, a British actor for Captain America. Yes! I'm not letting them win, am I? Here I am. Oh gosh. Ow! Wait, I'm just gonna grab the health and then I'll make my way back over. Okay, do. Yeah, we can't move. I'm. I, I was moving too far back. I think that's what the problem was. I need to stay here. Oh boy. Yeah, honestly, though, I can't imagine them having as great a Marvel run as they had before for, like, the last ten years or whatever. No, it's, it's never gonna be the same. 
Like, they are... It, what's terrifying is they're trying to do... Disney's really pushing hard, like, circa 2015, 16, and 17, which were failures for Marvel Comics. Mm -hmm. And those are the, yeah, stories the stories that yeah. they're bringing in. So you're going to have, like, Marvel Civil War 2. You're going to have, like, a big emphasis on Captain Marvel. You're going to have... Uh, the Miss Marvel books actually weren't too bad, but, like, America Chayez, or whatever her name was, was a canceled book that was a failure. Yeah. Um, she was one of those really weird, you know, comic book characters. It's uh, like books that make everybody... Bases. Books that make everyone feel divisive and uncomfortable. Like, mm -hmm. now, those are the books that... Like, we'll probably, they'll try to push. They're, yeah, instead of they're trying to instead push. Instead of really unifying hard. people and having characters that are like this, that are all working together and kind to each other, it'll be all books of everyone getting angry at each other. That's why it's really surprising. Like, I mean, most of the really cool Avengers storylines were from like the 80s and 90s. And yeah. now they're going, they even skipped the 2000s stuff. And they went straight to 2015, 16, and 17 storylines, which all failed. Like, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. You know who would look like Captain America, though? Hmm. I mean, who the first person I thought the character model looked like in this game? Hmm. <laughs> um, darn it, I forgot his name. Oh my gosh. Uh, ben, uh, darn it. Why am I so, why is my mind not going? Batman, Ben Affleck. No, Ben Affleck. Keep him out of Marvel. I know, but he would be great. He looks like Captain America. Mm, yeah, but no. He looks exactly like the character model in this game. He's going to have a rich history on HBO Max. Leave him alone. Sounds like our tacky on target. They waved enough money in his face, though. He'd probably do it. He actually likes Batman, though. Really? Yeah. He just didn't like Josh Whedon. Gotcha. Oh dear. Oh boy. Why are you all glowy? Help. Okay, you know what? You're, you're doing that. Disappearing thing is kind of freaking me out. Because I do a disappearing thingy. Can we get him? Alright, that one's toast. Mm. Where's the other disappearing guy? Yeah, I mean, I honestly hope he doesn't do, because I like him as DC. But I'd love to see him as Captain America, honestly, too, so... You know what? I changed my mind. I want to see him as Captain America. My gosh! <laughs> I can change my mind pretty fast, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I mean, Christian Bale is, uh, you know, part of Marvel now, too. Oh and my god. Michael Keaton. But well, Michael Keaton doesn't have an exclusive role at Marvel. It, you know what's weird is I can hardly think of a certain person that would be able to play Captain America because there's so few people today that actually have any integrity or you would look up to in any way. Well, the, the guy in real life who played Captain America is a jerk. So, I know. I mean, That's what kind of made me stop watching the movies. Like, I didn't really... He's kind of me. Yeah, it's like... And the fact that he mentioned, like, at one point, like, he didn't really like playing Cap or something. Or... I was just like, okay, well... Wow, dude. It's like, because he's the opposite of Captain America in real life. Like, dude, like, so many people would love to play Captain America. Whatever. I was Whoa. like, nobody really can measure up. Like, back in the 40s, there'd probably be a lot of people that could measure up to that, but today, like, nobody. It's like a little thing called integrity that nobody has. Mm. <sighs> Although, for his fans, you know, he seems like kind of a nice guy, but he's very divisive. Mm. I wouldn't say toxic. I think he's a, a nice guy. He's just politically yeah. very divisive. We didn't call him toxic. It's just like, mm -mm. I just, I feel like if you're going to play the character, you should be like, you should like the character or be glad about playing it. Like the way Ben Affleck was with Batman. He likes the character, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ben's not done yet, though, so don't. Don't count yeah, the ben, ben the way Ben was when he used to play Batman. Arkham Batman is coming back. <laughs> Arkham Batman is coming back. 
if, mark my words. I feel like before Ben Affleck, though, we wouldn't have an actor that would be really excited about playing an Arkham Batman. Because you weren't gonna get an Arkham Batman. Whoa! Yet. Well, we're definitely getting closer. But the Deathstroke actor basically confirmed everything I've been saying that Ben Affleck's Batman movie was gonna be like the Arkham games. Yeah. And that made me so upset even more when the Deathstroke actor is talking more. It's like, I don't like Josh Whedon because he ruined everything. Even if Dead yeah. Robin, you know, we would have gotten an Arkham Batman movie and so many great things. But if I was a, like, A-list Hollywood actor and they cut my movie, I would just randomly start playing all the lines that they gave me and start acting it out like on a YouTube video uh, and start making my own movie. Oh boy. Well, it's kind of hard to do that because you can't really bring the suit home that I know of. What is going on? Well, he brought. He has a cowl he kept. There you go, you could just put a blanket but over your shoulders. But he doesn't have the whole suit. And <laughs> paper clip it to the cowl. And then start acting the part online. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, amateur actors do it all the time. Like, you would think, like, Ben Affleck would be like, Hey, somebody, like, on YouTube, well, ben needed help me make a movie. <laughs> ben needed time to recover. <laughs> Originally, he wasn't going to do... Um, Snyder Cut. Like, oh, wow. he was just gonna be like, you know, you have footage, I don't need to come back. And then Zack Snyder convinced uh, Ben Affleck to return, and then when that happened, Ben was open to the idea of coming back and being Batman again. Yeah. And they were like, great, we want you in the Flash movie. He's like, what? Okay. Oh, wow. But the only reason he's back, too, is for the potential of getting some awesome, like, exclusive stuff on HBO Max. Like, yeah. his Warner Brothers movies that he enjoys making, and also his Batman story. Which won't be a movie, though. It'll be a miniseries, most likely. With yeah. Deathstroke. Or probably what's going to happen. I've been trying to tell people this, but... Um, I really honestly believe some of the storyline that Ben Affleck had planned for his Deathstroke versus movie... Or whatever, it's gonna show up in the Snyder Cut, like, uh, six miniseries thing. So, things with Joker and Deathstroke and Arkham, things like that. Like, some aspect of that is gonna appear. Which mm. is exciting, but also it makes me kind of sad because that means we won't get, like, a full thing. Yeah. But it means people that enjoyed the warehouse scene mm -hmm. are gonna get something even more epic. Cool. I mean, honestly, though, Chris Hemsworth can still play Thor. He still looks the same. Yeah, but they're going to kill off his character, most likely. So. Why, though? Uh, 2017 Thor. Or 2016. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, I forgot. Hang on. Okay, now you can say stuff. I just forgot they were going to make it Gene. Yep. Jane the Barbarian Hunter. Also, the, the guy who killed Thor uh, for a while was the character Christian Bale is playing. So he's basically like Thor's doomsday. Kind of. Let's move. Oh. Well, at least he made some really awesome Thor movies. He might end up coming back. He loves playing the character. He had the voice down perfect. What mm -hmm. the hell is that? This quick. I want to keep potential paradoxes to a minimum. How's your progress on the weapon? We're close to a breakthrough. We should be able to send back a working prototype on our next connection. Excellent. Years of scientific progress in less than 30 days. Not for me. Patience. It'll be worth it. On that note, I have good news. Our guest finally agreed to help. Remember what's riding on this. Easy, duck. Deal's a deal. I'll do my part. <gasps> Clint? Kate, you need to destroy that place. Now! But Clint's no. there. Destroy it now. Fall back. 
But Clint has appeared into like a other place. Why didn't we destroy that thing when we had the chance? I don't know why the hell he'd be working with Monica, but I know Clint. Okay, he has a reason, and we need to figure out what it is before we start wrecking things. Money. Let's get to the anthill. I don't know about that, but something's going on. Maybe they kidnapped somebody that he knows. Brainwashing, maybe? Yeah, they could have winter soldiered him. Mmm, that could be. Find out, I guess. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, mind filling us in? Do you know what that thing was? It's a... Well, basically, it's a bridge through time. I've done research on the concept before, but until now, nobody's been foolish enough to actually try it. Okay, and that's the source of these tachyon disruptions? Whatever she's sending through time is, yes. And if we don't stop them, the storms will eventually tear reality apart. We're talking about time collapsing in on itself. They'll be locking down security after our break-in. But I have an idea. We're gonna build another time bridge. Did, did you not just hear me say tearing reality apart? Messing with time is a bad idea. Exactly. So we are gonna fix it. We're gonna go get Clint out of the wrong timeline, cut Monica off from her future self. That would stop the storms, right? That's still messing with time. That's that, that might work. I'll need a few things, but you know what? Maybe. Wait, we could have built a time machine this whole time? Okay. First, we'll need everything you can get on Monica's time bridge plans. Blueprints, records, everything. Shield's intel points to an AIM data center in Siberia. It's our best shot. Oh boy. Wait, Tim, you had the power to go through time this whole time? Couldn't you have gone back and corrected the mistake that left you without able to, like, shrink anymore? Mmm. So confused. Oh wait, this is the first time we've been back on the anthill though. Ooh. That's gonna be good. I feel bad for Hank. He's like, I can't shrink into my ant form anymore. What am I gonna do with my life? Maybe mm. he could get himself an ant hoodie and wear it. <laughs> wear an ant hoodie. And be like, I'm an ant. What? What was that? Oh! Can I buy stuff? How much do these people get paid to sit here in Hank Pym's shop? All right. you do you. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> they're part of the anthill, so they can do a bunch of stuff. Do they get food for being there? Mm. They just do it volunteer basis. Oh, dear. oh yeah, I forgot. Everyone's paid for by the government. No wonder my taxes are so high. We've been paying for the Avengers and all these weird anthill places for so long. Mm. That's what I'm gonna do. <gasps> An ant! Uh, uh, when I run for office, I'm gonna be like, the first thing we need to do is cut funding on the Avengers. They should be able to work um, like, fast food and earn their own keep. Where did the ant go? On the side. Is he just magically gonna come back, or...? I think the ant became tiny. Oh. I don't know, I'm just guessing. He just magically comes back, that's gonna freak Either me out. Either that or the ant went into another dimension. Hello. Can't talk to you? Okay, Hank. Well, let's go this way. It looks like there's another chest. So we got some actually good stuff here. All right. Okay, we can't go in here. That's a weapon testing area. A little less juice this time. So a lot of these, these guys were more or less uh, the resistance against AIM uh, before the Avengers came back. I have a question. Oh. Hmm. Do they sleep here? Yeah. Where are the sleeping bags or like beds or anything? I don't know. Okay. Hey there, welcome to the anthill. I'm Cerise, Theo's twin sister. I've got the same powers as my brother. Portal twins at your service. Portal Hello. twins. Hello. 
Ooh, more stuff. There's some more beds. Okay. This is actually some good stuff. Surprise every time. All right, let's, uh... Is there anything here? Are you for reals right now? Really? Okay, then. There we go. So we're level e 17 attack power. Woot. No, not the woot. Not good. We need oh. to be much higher than that. Do we have any skills that we picked up? Oh, we can shoot a bow and arrow. We have no, that's not the skills oh. I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No. We have snarky comments. No. Also not one of We have a great fashion sense. No. It's totally our own. No. It's not what I was asking about either. What is we this? We can withstand walking in heels for long periods of time. No. Fine. It's a bow thing. What is this? It's an attack from far away. Specialty. What's this? Warp drive. Uh, heroic upgrade. Oak upgrade. That's... Mm, what is this? Mm. Edge of Eternity Ultimate Rogue. You want to know what I would do if I could go back in time? Mm. Take all these videos that we're recording now, mm. go back in time, upload them back in 2008, and then we'd be like, we'd have like 7 million subscribers. Because nobody, hardly anyone was on YouTube back then. Well, I mean, how would you even show you? Oh, yeah, these are future games. You wouldn't even be able to. <laughs> Oops, I wasn't even thinking about that. Two, 2008 could only do 720p. Oh. You couldn't, you, you couldn't do 1080p until Darn at it. least 2012. All right, fine. I'll go back to 2012 and do mm. it. All right, Katie, we're. Oh, yes, wait, everyone think... thought the world was ending in 2012, but it actually was just beginning because we started 10. Wasn't that the Mayan calendar or something? Or... Yep, we got so many people. Honestly, I feel like half of our viewers were just people like trying to desperately watch someone on YouTube ask them like if the world was going to end. Yeah, we got that question quite a bit. That we got was it really like weird. every day. Like, so what do you think's happening? Uh, I guarantee you it'll be a 2013. No, there won't. It's over, man. <laughs> well, what I feel bad for is like every time you have one of these like scares, like where everyone thinks the world's gonna end, like all these people end up selling their houses and stuff. Yeah, I, I, and then they end up like it's terrible. It's like I wonder, like, has anyone done a documentary on people that have sold their houses when they thought the world's gonna end? Like, no. They should. Somebody should go around and be like interview them and be like, how's life treating you now? I would be so pumped if you could help me with this. No. Prepare to be unpumped. <laughs> yeah, prepare to be unpumped because I'm not helping you. <laughs> New war table. Acquiring. Maybe it should be called peace table because we're trying to make peace with everyone. I'm just going to Siberia again. It's because Siberia is fun. So they're basically just redoing the winter level over and, and over again. Also because they already made it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so we'll be coming back to the Ant Hill tomorrow. So I was, I was right. There's going to be like four or five episodes of this. You're going to see if the ant comes back. No. I don't think he's coming back. I think he got... Drunk. You know what would be really cool if they added in here is mm -hmm. if they added like um oh my gosh why am I so bad with remembering what things are called especially when I've been awake oh. longer than you what are those things arcade machines mm. you add an arcade machine that has an old Avengers game and then you could play it inside the Avengers place would be cool yeah in like somebody's bedroom or something but they don't have the rights to the old uh, um. Avengers video games. Oh, which is weird. You think they would, but uh, I would just buy the rights from those old games and re you know have them as Easter eggs. Because yeah. the old Avenger games were actually kind of fun. Definitely, that's All what right. I would have added. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next time as we do some espionage Ooh. with uh, Kate and uh, try to steal some stuff. 
Yeah. Make our own time gate portal thing. Interesting. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Hit up the playlist for more episodes, and we will see you with more of the Avengers tomorrow. And also, there's an awesome live stream later tonight, so don't miss that. Awesome. Hit up the playlist for past episodes, and uh, more Avengers is coming. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.